Okay, so here I am right now. This is the Mosala. I, I was recording a voice note here. And this... I'm fucking... Ha I'm, I'm having a goosebump right now as we speak, see? So this is the gazebo I was talking about. See, at this very hour, I was alone here. Here in this very, very... Oh my God, I got a goosebump, man. This is the gazebo I was... Hey everybody, hello, I'm Finn and welcome to the first episode of Infinity Talks, a show where I just let it all hang out. I mean, I just let it all go with the flow, cause it's not like one of those real high concept podcasts. I talk about all kinds of stuff, big and small, cause I got a lot in my head. I discuss about various topics weekly, whenever I'm not having a guest or two. I will tell some random story twice a week. The show is all about learning and sharing through everything. Stories, laughters, and through the brain of people from across the world who are way smarter than me. I'm doing all this in hope that I would get enlightened, that we would learn some lessons. So don't move from your seat, stay tuned. What's going on guys? I hope you're doing well. I hope your day and your week is going really well for you. I saw a few good films in the past few weeks that I'd like to talk to you about. The first one being The Curious Case of Benjamin... Wait, hang on. Why am I talking about David Fincher's movie? Okay, I'm a cinephile. Yes guys, I'm a movie freak. You know, you might as well call me a movie enthusiast, whatever. But we're not gonna talk about movies today. Instead, there's something else that's been bothering me, something mysterious, something metaphysical, scary, spooky. Ooh. Today, drum roll please. Oh, come on, seriously? Oh, okay, that'll do it. I've got no other options, do I? Anyway, today, we're gonna hear some... Ghost Stories. Before we move on to the ghost stories, I'm gonna have to ask you guys a few questions. You ready? Do you believe in ghosts? Do you think ghosts exist? Are ghosts real? What is ghost? What is it? You think you know what ghost is? What do you know about ghosts? What are actually ghosts? What are they? Say, you do believe in ghosts and their existence. When did you see them? When was the last time you've seen one? Where did you see them? Where have you seen one? Was it in your dream? In one of your nightmares? Was it outside your house? Was it in your house? In your bedroom? Your bathroom? In your office? Was it in your backyard? Was it everywhere you go? Have you ever met them? And do you think what, you, what you've what you seen are really ghosts? What makes you so sure that they are ghosts? And where did you see them? There's gotta be somewhere. How do you see them? Did you see them with your own naked eyes? What do they look like? Why do you think that they are ghosts? What makes you so darn sure that they are ghosts? Where do you know? How do you know? These questions also go to me. Now think about it. I want you to ponder and contemplate these questions. Nearly all my life, my whole life, I've been wondering, asking myself the same questions. These questions kind of bothering me actually. Have I got any answer yet? Sort of. Not really. I mean, yes, but no, not really. All right. Let's start over. Do I believe in ghosts? Do I think that ghosts exist? Do I think that they're real? Like they're really there? We'll get to that later. But what is ghost? Let's talk about the definition of ghost. 
let me try to understand better what ghost is. According to Cambridge Dictionary and any dictionary out there, ghost as a noun, it means spirit and memory. The spirit of a dead person, sometimes represented as a pale, almost transparent image of that person, which some people believe appears to people who are alive. If you look it up on Google Translate or any other online dictionary out there, you'll see that ghost means the apparition of a dead person, which is believed by so many people to manifest to the living, to appear and haunt the living. They appear as many form. They can appear as human being, animal, any kind of form. Say I do believe in ghosts and their existence. Did I, have I ever seen one? Have I ever met what's called ghost? When was the last time I have seen one? Very well then, let me take you to travel back in time. Back to the time when I was still afraid of the dark, the darkness and whatever comes out of it, comes in it whatever dwells in it. It was in those years when all information I could only get were from magazine, books, comic books, people, parents, all surrounding, all that surrounded me, the environment. I live in this little village somewhere in Indonesia. Yes, it is somewhere in Indonesia, first quote end quote. I was only a kid back then. It was when I sat on my first grade of elementary school. Yeah, I remember that I was only a little. Long story short, it was in one peaceful afternoon. I remember it was around two to three, four in between that. I was coming back from school. Yeah, when the school was over, when I got back from school, I would sit down at the back of the house, relaxing, you know, resting a bit, enjoying the view. I sat there. I didn't realize that the sky was covered with black clouds yeah the weather was cloudy that's one thing i didn't realize and then soon after i grabbed something to eat it started to rain once in a while i heard a thunder rumbling lightning stroke the earth and in a split second i saw something weird something that i've never seen before that up until today i could not i could not and i can't describe what that was i couldn't believe what i saw I saw this floating tiny little thing, looks like amber, it was kind of glowing, floating in the air under the rain, can you believe that? In the middle of effing rain, I was like, what is that? Was that a ghost? I thought to myself. I was baffled, I mean, befuddled, what I just saw, I was astonished, stunned, speechless. I couldn't believe it, it happened so fast, so it lasted for 30 seconds floating peacefully on the air in the air can you believe that i just i i i didn't oh my god i just didn't understand the concept of ghosts at that time seriously that was the first time i began to ask question that's the moment where i started to become skeptical with non-human being non-physical things you know like metaphysical being something like that that was something, not something scary yet, actually. But still, that was inexplicable. Right, so that inexplicable thing, flying object, floating tiny little reddish thing looked like an amber that I experienced back then, happened over three decades ago. Wow, it's a long time ago. Do I think that was a ghost or even a spirit? I don't think that was a ghost. What about spirit? Well, spirit means the characteristics of a person that are considered as being separate from the body, in which many religions believe continue to exist after the body dies. I'm not gonna get into religion topic though. Spirit is also the form of a dead person similar to a ghost or the feeling that a dead person is present though you cannot see them well it was an object yeah it was more like a phenomenon an anomaly it was not even a dead person was it there's no way that what i saw was a ghost speaking of a dead person 
My father had passed away. May he rest in peace. I kept seeing my father in one of my dreams. Not the nightmare though, but he kept showing popping up in my dreams. It happened several times. Was that considered as a ghost? Does that mean that my father was a ghost or a spirit? I think the word spirit, the term spirit would make more sense. Yeah, I think my father was a spirit that came to my dreams. But just so you know, I've never seen some spirit directly, like popping up in front of me, right in front of my face, right on my face, never. I have never experienced that. Now, when was the last time I seen one? I seen ghost or spirit. The only dead person that I have ever seen was only my father. He only appear in my dreams. He often appears in my dream. Now, when was the last time I've seen... Have I ever seen one, though? Um, okay. I think I remember the very recent, the latest sighting of, of something unusual. You might as well call it as paranormal activity, paranormal seeing, paranormal sighting, paranormal experience. Yes. It only happened recently, back in June 2021. I was in my hometown. In my mother's home i was alone at this gazebo it was cold at night it was gusty it was around midnight or 30 minutes after midnight i didn't know why i stayed there oh yeah there was an event some sort of watching movie together event and i was in charge i was in charge of computer and sound system but when everybody left when everybody went home i was there alone so as the night went late, it's very late at night, while I was focusing, concentrating on my computer, all of a sudden, I heard this bunch of loud sounds, not human voice, but sounds. I was surprised by this bam, 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 spook, bam, on the roof. For your information, the uh, gazebo that I was at got no wall. It's wall-less, but it's got uh, some separators. At the floor of it, it's a square kind of gazebo, yes, just like any other gazebos. And I could feel the wind blew over my head, on my body. I could feel them. And there was some sort of drizzle dropping, because um, there was a drizzle earlier, not long bef uh, before it, it all happened. Bam, bam, bam! Constantly, periodically. Uh, it's probably some twigs or tree branches that fell off the roof. So, I ignored it. Because I was watching a movie and I was focusing on my computer. But then, not long after that, soon after, I heard a lot of noises. If you were in my shoes, if you were me, then you would react the same like I did. So what happened was, right on my left side, after those sounds and followed by some wind, gusty winds and so on, I saw this moving trash can. Whoa. I still thought positively, I thought, ah, uh, maybe some rats trying to look for some food. But it was not. The trash can lid was spinning. Okay, that's not right. That doesn't look right. Something is wrong at that night. So I was thinking, oh, probably there's something invisible that tried to convey some message to me, try to talk to me or something like that. And I, I tried so hard to ignore it. To ignore them noises and the shit that I, I've just seen. Well, I got goosebump because I couldn't see anything. Could it be a ghost? Could it be some spirit? Who knows? So I packed everything. I walked back home and tried to forget that things. That was my recent experience. That's not the list of it though. A few days later, there's, there's also something weird happening inside the room I have been staying. It was not me, but it was my sister who laid on, laid on the floor close to my room. Okay, so it was still at night. It was around one or two in the morning. Everybody was sleeping. Nobody's around except me and my sister. And my sister was the one who told this story to me. She told me that while I was gone, she heard she told me that she heard this sound that came out of my room. Exactly like this. 
Some growling tiger shit. What the? I didn't buy that. I didn't believe that. But you know what? It was not only my sister who heard that sound. One of my cats listened to it and startled. And it stopped right in front of the room. Like staring. Have you ever seen some cats staring at the wall for no reasons? Yes. That's what my cat did at that very moment when the sound came out. The cat stopped there. Stopped and stares, trying to look for the sound, and that was it. So I bought the story. Speaking of a uh, weird sound, though, the one night there's this woman who, who tried to record something on her phone. She, okay, this woman was my neighbor, was or is, I'm not sure because I don't know, I have no idea where she is right now. So long story short, when she tried to record something on her phone, let's say you record something on your phone and I record something on my phone, the voice that should come out on our phone got to be some surrounding or our voice, right? But it came out differently. It was totally weird. Instead of her sound, the voice that came out of her phone was this exact sound. I was like, what the fuck? So what do you think that weird sound is? Do you think, or do I think that was a ghost? I'm not sure. Was was that even a spirit? Not really. That's, that's got to be something else. Something way than just a spirit. Okay, I got tons of this, what's so called paranormal activities, paranormal experiences. I got a bunch of them, tons of them, probably hundreds of them. I'm not going to tell all of them here. So what do you think? I think they're not ghosts. How? And why do I think that they're not ghosts? I'll let you know why in a jiffy. I used to be afraid of the dark, the darkness, and people tend to be afraid of something that they don't understand, right? People fear of what they don't understand, including me. But as the time goes by, I sort of learned some things. I have done my research. I have brushed up on my readings and information. I, I've got all information I needed on the subject. This very subject, ghost, metaphysical, paranormal phenomenon. Not talking about aliens and zombies and all this wizardry, witchcraft, all those are a different story. No, 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 not, not, not that one. We're, yeah, we're probably going to discuss about that on our next episode. I'm not saying that I'm knowledgeable about this enough. No, not at all. I still keep learning. Right up until this point, I have found some common mistakes, some misunderstanding about this matter. I think that ghosts are similar with something that I'm about to tell you. So do you think and do I think that ghosts are alive? I mean, do they have soul? Do they have the ability or the capability to harm human being? I strongly disagree on this one because out there, there's this creature. I'm talking about something beyond human this creature i'm talking about is jinn yes i'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with this but i'm not sure about the spelling though um i'm not sure if it's either d j i n n or g e n i e in english dictionary out there everywhere you'd see you'd find out if you look it up it's commonly known or believed or approved or or accepted as genie but what I've been discussing about here what I've been talking about here is not genie the, the, the one that comes out of bottle and can grant you some wishes no I'm talking about another jinn the creature by creatures I mean those who are alive those who live these creatures are intelligent according to Arabian and Muslim mythology jinns 
or intelligent spirit of lower rank than the angels, able to appear in human and animal forms and to pos possess human. Now, looking back to all my stories, all the stories that I've told you here, what have I learned? What, what have we learned about? What have we got? We are not alone. There are some other beings out there that live and die. Or maybe they don't die. Those supernatural, paranormal activities that I have experienced back then, recently, and the other that I haven't told you yet, are basically the work of jinns, in my humble opinion. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but they are. So, I've come to conclusion, if I may, jumped into conclusion that ghosts are somehow jinns. I mean, they are just jinns. They are merely jinns. Ghosts do not exist. Ghosts aren't real. What really real is jinns. And that is why I said in the first place that I don't think all of my experiences are appearances of ghosts. They are jinns. Yeah, jinns do that. Jinns did that. Jinns will always do some sort of stuff like appearing to people, you know, resemble as human being, you know, appear as shadow or some sort of spirit, you know, resemble like any kind of form. They do that. How can I say this thing? Because, because I felt... Okay, I can sense them. I can tell the difference between, you know, which is which, either they're jinn or not. Uh, for Indonesian listeners, I'm gonna ask you what kind of ghosts, tell me the uh, kinds of ghosts that are, there are local ghosts that are in Indonesia. What? Kuntilanak, Genderuo, what else? Uh, Demit, uh, Pachong, whatever. They don't fucking exist because dead people cannot live. Dead people stay fucking dead. They can't do anything, they can't wake up, they stay dead, buried. That's it and that's that. So what are they? What are those? I mean, how could people, how can one explain the experiences, the pa paranormal activities, the metaphysical being that has been happening and it is happening um, as we speak? What? What are those? They're jinns, ladies and gentlemen, you like it or not. They are jinns. One more time, I'm not talking about the genies, jinn, a spirit of Arabian folklore as a traditional depicted imprisoned within a bottle, you know, that came, uh, those genes that come out of a uh, what, bottle or oil lamp, something, and, or some sort of, and capable of granting some wishes when summoned. No, it's totally different story. It's totally, I'm talking about some other jinn, the real jinn, not the uh, fairy tale. The man-made kind of story, jinn. They live. Jinns live among us. They're everywhere. Everywhere, guys. Seriously. They're even here with me right now. Ooh. They're invisible. That's the way it is. They're born to this world as invisible creatures. Imagine smoke. Yeah. Can we grab smoke? No, we cannot, of course. We can't. Okay, that's one of the uh, characteristics of jinns. They're slinky, they're slippery, they, can, they cannot be touched unless you have the ability. What about aliens and... Uh, zo okay, zombies, not real. Vampire, ah, give me a break. No, they're not real. They're just man-made, imaginary. Now, what about voodoo and those magic thing? Those witchcraft and wizardry? They are the work of jinns too. I'm telling you. I'm trying to wake you up, guys. Yeah, I'm trying to remind myself too that ghosts do not exist and instead what exists out there are jinns. Jinns can do all stuff. How could I say? How dare I? You know? Because I've seen it. Okay, theoretically or as a theory, I can summon some if I want to, but no, I don't want that. There would be huge mistake if I had ever pulled that off. But of course, guys, of course. Behind all those paranormal activities, there must have been some scientific reasons that can be explained or elaborated. 
like for instance the tiny balls that that have been floating that i saw when i was a kid it's probably yeah i'm still not sure up until this point i'm up until today it's probably a spark that created or produced by lightning don't you think and what else the sound on the phone recorder that's probably some static or buzz electronic thing i don't know i don't know i'm not expert at that what do you think guys sleep paralysis what about sleep paralysis can you can we explain can we uh can we talk about that for a minute yes sleep paralysis is a situation where we're unable to move or part of our body when we are asleep or when we uh i don't know probably when we're conscious because of illness or injury right it's just when we're unable to take action we're extremely immobilized we're extremely paralyzed that's what paralysis is i guess yeah what do you think that is i think that okay one night i have experienced that you know uh it felt like some sort of nightmare i saw on 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 my nightmare yes uh, I've, i've never told this story publicly i was sleeping and i and i saw some big blackish huge humongous creature blackish i cannot i couldn't describe um the look uh the appearance but it tried to press on my body and when when it did that i screamed i yelled i shouted aloud half in my sleep and half when i woke up and soon after i uh, screamed people came to approach me came approaching me and asking wondering what was going on and i said ah nightmare but it was real i felt sh- yeah it felt surreal man like have you ever have, haven't you guys ever experienced this phenomenon yeah tell me about it in your voice recording something like that let me know about it and we'll discuss about that on our next episode on another on other occasion i've ever experienced something as well like uh, the moving guitar i saw one afternoon it's evening it was evening around 6 p.m i put my guitar i leaned it on the wall right 95 or to 100 degrees on the wall and i put it inside a cart box but it fell off when i turned my head around and i turned when i turned around i was like what the whoa who has moved the guitar there was nobody around i stood up and i yelled come out you little bastard blah 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 you know i tried to challenge the thing that i didn't understand i believe that was jim's too you know i got really double goosebumps that was my um uh, other experience I still have many more seriously but I'm not going to talk about it I'm kind of tired guys So if you see if you feel if you hear anything that is beyond your understanding beyond your force beyond your capabilities let it go because we human being will not be able to fight them forces they're stronger than we ever thought now that we know the ghosts are not real so every time you see you feel you hear something that is not human being that's probably jin nothing else what else there's no way that they're ghosts because ghosts do not haunt ghosts cannot do anything they just show off jin sometimes do that too but jins can kill people jin can possess jin can can threaten us they're a menace to our society actually but not all of them though oh shit bloody hell sorry guys for rambling kind of embarrassed i think i've made so many grammatical errors bunch of mispronunciations uh it's all over the place but um i made it to the end didn't i yeah eventually glad i could express my train of thoughts 
I hope you could catch and understand every single thing I said. How did I do though? I can't believe I finally did it. Anyway. Back to Jin's the metaphysical being. I believe in jinns and their existence, but not ghosts. Ghosts do not exist. They're not real. Dead person or spirit cannot do and do not haunt the living or scare people. It's them jinns who can do such things. Ghosts are basically embodiment of jinns. There are types of them out there. Devil, demon, Satan, etc, etc, and so on. Some of them are good, and some of them are bad. They have feelings too. They're just like humans, more or less, but invisible. They are born and made of the same matter, or made of the same substance, namely fire. Yes, fire. And they are born to achieve the same purpose as humans. They live among us on this earth. They are everywhere, scattered, spread all over the world. They eat, they feel, breathe, they breed, they die. Oh, I'm not sure yet whether they can die or not. But we are human beings. And we excel at some things, so to speak. We're in control. We can beat the fear. Well, even though jinns are invisible and possess some extraordinary abilities that humans don't have, there's no need to be afraid. If you happen to meet them, don't fight them. Trust me, you're not gonna win. You're not. Nevertheless, don't be scared of those jinns. They're mysterious creatures, but they're just creation, like us. Let them live in peace, and let the fathomless mystery be a mystery. Alright folks, that's it for today's episode of Infinity Talks. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, where's my script? If you like this, you can leave your voice messages, comments, rate and review on the given links below. I would really do appreciate that. If you got any statement and or question regarding the topic, feel free to reach me out on Instagram at A-F-I-N-E-L-Z-I. I stand corrected. Keep learning, keep sharing. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time.